Now let's see what is learning agent. This is the fifth type of uh, agent. So a learning agent in AI is the type of agent which can learn from its past experience or it has learning capabilities. So whatever agents we have learned till now, so they perform some action based on some history or whatever knowledge base it is having and the current state. So it does not learn. Suppose if it perform, if it commits a mistake, so it does not know how to improve it. But the learning agent has the perform has has the capability of improving or learning from its mistake. So this is how it differs from the rest of the agents that we have learned till now. It starts to act with basic knowledge. So some basic knowledge is there, and then is able to act and adapt automatically through learning. So from its mistake, suppose. It, uh, it commits a mistake so from that it will learn something and it will make sure that next time if the same scenario occurs it is not going to perform the same mistake again. Hence learning agents are able to learn, analyze performance and look for new ways to improve the performance. So for example let, let us give the example of a uh, unit test okay exam. So when you give an exam, unit test exam, suppose you commit some mistake. So uh, from that unit test, you will know that if this question comes, this should not be the answer. Something else is the answer. So from next time when the same question you will get in the semester exam, you will know exactly what to write. So that, is, that means what you have learned from your past mistake. So that is what a learning agent does. Now a learning agent, it has four main conceptual components. So first one is the critic. So what is a critic? The learning element that takes feedback from the uh, critic which describes how well the agent is doing with respect to a fixed performance standard. So for a, each and every action, some fixed performance standard is there. So if you perform this action, uh, in order to in order to consider that action to be a good one, suppose five is the criteria. Hmm, marks five is the criteria. Now, after performing the action, suppose the uh, agent gets three. So the critic will analyze the action and it will tell that you are below uh, the expected performance and these are the mistakes that you have done. So you need to improve it. So it will give some. Uh, it will do some analysis on the task and it, it will give you the feedback of your action. So that is the purpose of a critic. Then there is the next component which is the learning element. So it is responsible for making improvements by learning from the environment. And how it learns? It, it learns, uh, suppose it performs an action. So after performing the action, the critic will give the analysis report that this is the mistake or how you can improve or this and these are the things. So based on the report of the critic, it will try to improve the action the next time it uh, gets the same situation. So it will try to um, learn from its mistakes or learn from the reviews that the critic has, he has given. So it learns from the difference between performance standards and feedback from the critics. So suppose you should have got 5 but you have got 4. Now how you can reach 5 so that is what will be given in the report and based on that if the same situation arises it will try to perform in a better way. So that is the learning element. Okay the third component is performance element. So performance element is the element which is going to perform the final action. So it is going to perform the final action based on what current percepts that it receives from the sensors and the input obtained from the learning element. So after the learning apply uh, element applies the uh, like modifies its mistakes and all learns from the previous uh, actions and it will finally give some action. So based on the current percept received from the sensors and the input obtained from the learning element, this performance element will decide which action to perform, which way to go and finally it will perform the action. Then comes the problem generator. So what is the problem, what is the task of the problem generator? It decides, uh, so it is responsible for suggesting actions that will lead to new and informative experiences. So suppose uh, an agent is performing some task, okay, uh, this is the current scenario and it is performing some task. 
so this problem generator will try to put some new scenarios and will try to make the uh, agent learn how to uh, perform in that new scenarios that is it will introduce new and new problems so that the agent can learn from the new scenarios and perform better so this component is responsible for suggesting actions that will lead to new and informative experiences based on the new goal learned by the learning agent a problem generator suggests new or alternative ex, uh, actions which will lead to new understanding so this is the diagram of a learning agent so here what happens perceptions are received from the environment using the sensors now based on the performance standard critics will uh, give some feedback to the learning agent okay now this learning agent will give its input sensor will also collect the uh, give its input and the performance element based on the input from learning agent and sensor will perform the actions okay using the effectors it will perform the actions then learning agent will also give uh, the input to the problem generation generator it will introduce new experiments or problems and it can tell the performance element that okay you can perform this also that also so based on this again it will take the actions so this is the diagram of a learning agent thank you